Hi everyone, Sandy Kreisberg here, and it's time for Handicapping with Sandy. Our candidate uh, this week is Helen Chen, who works at uh, Entry Life Science Consulting, and uh, she's interested in going to Kellogg, Stern, Columbia, Mendoza, and USC. Helen has a, a very good GMAT at 7.30, and her GPA is a kind of boo-boo. It's on the low side of GPAs, and it's outside the uh, kind of medians you see presented by the school. So, Helen, introduce you. Hi there. And tell us what you've done about the, the GPA boo-boo. Uh, so, for the particular GPA, uh, I did have some extenuating circumstances involved. So, I did No, I mean, have you, have you taken courses? Yes, I have. So I've taken a couple courses with Stanford Continuing Studies. Um, they're all business courses, and I've gotten A's on all of them. Great. Okay, that that can do a lot of um, that can do a lot towards uh, uh, softening the impact of a of a low GPA. What the schools look for in the GPA is your ability to sit still and copy notes and then spit them back on a final exam. So the fact that you can do that now. They go, okay, the GPA is not a predictor of, you know, your, your low GPA in college is not really a predictor of how you're going to do in business school because you're older and wiser and more centered and mm -hmm. taken these courses. So that, yes. that can go far into that, right? Uh, yes. Could you tell us what entry life science is? So let, me, let me make a general point here. You've got one of these... I don't know if we can capture it. One of these <laughs> fancy resumes where they're yes. stuck down the side. Okay. Yes. Don't do that. Okay. If you're applying to business school, don't don't be cute with a resume. Do a totally standard resume. I had a I had to really scratch my head a little bit when looking at your resume to figure out where you went to college. Like, here's your resume, and the college <laughs> part is here. Okay. Yes. Uh, don't don't do that. And, okay. and, the, and the thermometer of your skills here where, you know, you rank yourself as a leadership, <laughs> stamina, creativity, you, mm -hmm. they don't, that's not business school. Okay, good. Okay. Moving right along. Tell us about entry life science. So entry life science consulting catered to companies like pharmaceutical, biotech, medical device companies. Uh, we provide services specifically in uh, departments like regulatory quality, uh, supply chain, um, sort of more core uh, departments for the industry. And we sort of not only advise our clients, but um, especially with startups, we have to roll our sleeves up and yes, even do some of the implementation work. Yeah, okay. Um, Let me tell you, for purposes of a, an interview, mm -hmm. you, you got to get a, that act a little tighter, okay? Okay. You really need to get it, you know, you go, well, well we consult, we're actually a consultant to other life science companies in areas like compliance, uh, employee mm -hmm. benefits, and blah, and blah, whatever the truth is. Okay. You got it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. So summarize it in a sentence, and that's easy to understand for everyone. Yeah. Uh, the, the way people screw up interviews is to uh, get lost. I realize this is a handicapping session, but we're just doing some market <laughs> interview. I'll take whatever yeah. practice I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what do you do there? You're a life science consultant? Yes, uh, so most of us are life science consultants. Um, and uh, I work with anywhere from startups to Fortune 500 companies. Yeah, okay. Does the company, the business schools know about this company? Uh, no, uh, it's a more boutique tech firm. Okay, so that's, that's a piece of work that, so you really have to explain the company. Uh, okay. And then you went there, uh, what was your job before that? Uh, my job before that was a project coordinator or you can call it an associate project manager, either way, similar uh, 
descriptions. Uh, and I worked in the supply chain logistics space uh, for a pharmaceutical company. Named Impacts Lab. Is this a secret? Named Impacts Laboratories? Uh, no, uh, it's called Impacts Laboratories. Um, yeah. It's about a mid size. Okay, this, is a, this is another hint to people. This is uh, a mock interview hint. People seem mm -hmm. reluctant to name publicly traded companies that they worked at. Name the company. Okay. okay. <laughs> Where'd you work before then? Uh, before that, I worked at Dynavax Technologies. Or Good Dynavax. for you. <laughs> uh, Dynavax, uh, which is a biotech company that worked with vaccines. Uh, I started out as a lab intern that moved into a project management intern. Okay, good. So we've got a career. We've got an education at Berkeley with a, uh, a BS in chemical biology. That sounds good. We've got a low GPA. But we've you've taken courses since then, so that makes life better. You got a 730, and you're working a sexy field for some companies that no one's ever heard of. But that's not uh, you know that's not your fault or their fault. And the schools will be open to that. What you have to do is what you need on your resume and in presenting yourself. Mm -hmm. you, what you do is you listed the company and then you went right into engagements. Right. What you need is to list the company and then have like 50 words of italics saying a publicly oh, traded life science company focusing on flu vaccine and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hair, hair gain products. Okay. That's, okay. You yeah, got it? Context. And then, and then the, um, the bragging. The sticks that you've done, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The bullet, the, the brag bullets. Mm -hmm. Then people can understand it, okay? That's a good advice. Give context so they understand your bragging. Right, yeah, exactly. Uh, so clean up the resume, give context. Uh, and then, oh boy, okay, so here's the handicapping. Man, you're in a sexy field. You got a lot going for you. You've had some. You've had a number of jobs in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, you, these schools are going to like you, particularly if you can explain away the GPA. And you said you've taken courses since then. Yes. You've gotten A's. Yes. You should get into these places. Uh, you got a 730 GMAT, which is good. You work for- uh, uh, I to brag, I got eight out of eight on my integrated reasoning. And you're an integrated reasoner. And, <laughs> um, and uh, you got a lot going for you. Uh, I, I, I think you'd, uh, you'd, this is, uh, I think your chances of getting in here are good. Uh, Post MBA career goals, be a creative consultant in the life science industry, specializing yes, yes. in organizational change management. Yes. Um, so, creative uh, consultant, the title? Uh, well, no, uh, I guess creative is a description of the type of consultant I want to be. Consultant would be the title. Let me give you, what do you think I'm going to, what, what do you think my suggestion is? Remove the, the word creative. Yeah, you know, creative almost doesn't belong in a business school application. Okay. If, if, you're, if you're a creative person, just show me. And not okay. by this goofy resume either. That's the wrong kind <laughs> of creativity. Okay. Uh, so be a consultant in the life science industry. Uh, yes. Good. So all that hangs together. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you can explain the low GPA, you should get into these places and you, you have it and you've taken these courses. So, man, you should get into these places. You might even think of, I don't know, would you want to go to Wharton? Uh, that's on my list of consideration, but I, I don't it's know. It's an acceptable reach, although it doesn't seem like a, what are, what are business schools, uh, what, 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 what are business schools, uh, that with a focus in life science? Uh, Fuqua is the most well-known one. Well, you should get in there, so go there. 
How come it's not on your list? Uh, because I'm, uh, okay, well, let's wrap this up. List? Here's some, here's some, here's another $10,000 worth of advice besides normalize your resume. Apply to Fuqua, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's on my list, just like Wharton. Good. Okay, great. Yes. Um, I, I think you're going to do fine. Thank you. Um, I do have a few questions. One of the main ones I have is um, for what kind of info would uh, be acceptable in the additional information section, just for everyone to know as well. Like, you well, know, most anything. Well, it sounds like you've got something you want to, you've got some questions about. Yes. So I uh, recently uh, did something that was well recognized, very high profile with the client company that um, uh, got a lot of attention with the VPs and the client of company. Is that something? Um, That's something you should put in the body of your resume. Okay. As a, you know, after you explain the company, then you got the brag bullets. That should be a brag bullet. Okay. It's nothing more than an extraordinary brag bullet, right? Uh, fair statement. <laughs> so what would you put in those additional informations? Uh, hobbies, uh, organizations you belong to, interests. Uh, it's not critical. Just okay. don't do anything, don't, do no harm, you know? Okay. Um, the second question I had is, I have the pleasure of dealing with several recommenders offering recommendation letter to me. How should I go through the choosing who to write what, or should I focus on two that are going to write all of mine? Or? Uh, the recommenders, they expect one from your current supervisor and they prefer recommendations from people you've worked with. If you've got other people who are so-called Bigfoots, you know, like <laughs> powerful people yeah. or people who think they're powerful, mm -hmm. just have them write a, a, pers a letter to the adcom. The adcom mm -hmm. says we don't allow that, but they read them and it counts. <laughs> okay, so what if um, all of them are people I've worked with? Then do I choose then, then you pick the, the most recent or, or you pick the person who will be more, who you think can do a good job and will collaborate with you, okay, that will let you massage the recommendation. Because some people, even there are people who, and choose people who have written a lot of recommendations. That's yeah. another <laughs> trick. Some people think you're great, but they don't know how to write recommendations. Okay, I see. Okay, uh, good to know. <laughs> yeah, you've got to dope that out for yourself. Who, who can I cooperate with? Who has the most to say? Who mm -hmm. is willing to let me massage the thing? Okay. Those are all balls in the air that you've got to figure out. Okay. I mean, they're all wonderful people, so. Yeah, um, okay, you're gonna do fine. You got a lot going for you. And if you can make that low GPA go away, you're a very powerful applicant. Okay? okay. Adios. Let us know okay. how it works out. Okay. I'll email you guys. Thank you very okay, much. Okay. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.